need to talk to you about something. I need to talk to you about failure. Catastrophic, dramatic, majestically awful failure. You know, it's funny because we spend most of our life avoiding failure. But failure is your best friend. We learn so much through abysmal failure. As a matter of fact, I have my entire life's successes to thank because of failure. If I didn't fail, I wouldn't be where I am today. I would not be a successful career coach. I would not be helping other people find success in their lives. And the reason I'm here today is because of failure. Many years ago, when I was an early career professional, I failed. I got a bad performance review. Now, bad performance reviews for some people are really not that big of a deal, but for me as a perfectionist, it was a big deal, okay? Totally catastrophic. I was one of the top project managers at my firm and I had managed successful project after successful project after successful project. I fixed big messes and drug people through complicated and messy projects to a successful end, but that wasn't good enough. My 360 degree peer review revealed that the same attention and focus I had for my clients, I didn't really have for my team. While I was probably really good at building relationships external to the company, I wasn't so good at building relationships inside the company. And it wasn't that I was mean or a nasty person, I was just very professional all the time. Because I had such a significant wall between myself and others at work, it was very difficult, if not impossible, for them to relate to me, which made it extremely hard for them to understand who I was as a person. Long story short, my performance review was that I didn't have the leadership skills that I thought I had in order to move up to management. And I was put on a, a PIP, performance improvement plan. I would like to say that I immediately saw the error of my ways and the light shined into my brain and I realized what I needed to do, but it doesn't happen like that. I spent a lot of time feeling sorry for myself, being ticked off. Finally, one day, three or four weeks later, a person I respected a lot came to me and said, Erin, you know, you've got a lot of potential. And I really just think you need some guidance to get you to the next level. And he gave me my very first personal improvement book. And I've never looked back. Up until that point, I wasn't even aware that you could change who you were. I just thought you were who you were and that was it, right? That's not true. You are the master of your future and you decide who you want to be, where you want to go, and what you want to do with your life, okay? You have a lot more control than you give yourself credit for. And I didn't realize that. But it took failure for me to figure it out. And what's crazy is we spend most of our life avoiding failure. But failure is how you learn. Yeah, winning is nice, but what do you learn? Recently, as an athlete, I participated in a five-day, first-ever, point-to-point, off-road stage race. 
<laughs> it was a bit ambitious. My husband did great. I didn't do good. I didn't even do great. I didn't even finish. I failed. And fortunately, because I have matured a lot since that first big failure, I realized that it was a learning opportunity. Because when we are faced with failure, we have two options. We can become better or we can learn. And it's up to you to decide which one you want to do. Now, a lot of people say you learn and gain wisdom through experience. That's BS. You learn and gain wisdom through evaluated experience. And unless you are open and aware and know that, okay, at this time right now, things are not going well. What can I do different? What's going on? How can I make tomorrow better? You won't get it. You won't see it. You won't see the, the open door. You won't see the solution. And during that five day race event, I realized that I had acute asthma and I had no idea. For all the years of my athletic performance, I had been punishing my own body through ignorance. And it had got worse and worse and worse until during this event, I woke up in the middle of the night at 2.30 a.m. with a full-on asthma attack. I never had one before. And you might be thinking to yourself, that sounds terrible. Like, what would you learn from that? I learned how to overcome it. So the next event, I'm prepared. Just like when you're in the middle of something, at 2.30 in the morning, I was not having a good time. I was not thinking, okay, so this is a learning experience. I was thinking, oh my God, I'm going to have to call 911. Okay, I get it. In the moment, sometimes it's not necessarily when we want to go, oh, what's our checklist for learning things? We might want to just figure out how can I survive this? But when we look back, what can we learn? What can you learn? If you are struggling right now and things are not going well and you're thinking life sucks, why does life suck? What's going on? What can you do to impact change? Or are you obsessing about things you can't control, like the weather or traffic or other people? Can't control any of those. But we like to worry about them. And that doesn't make any difference. The only person you can control is you. And I encourage you, my friend, to stop avoiding failure. Make failure your best friend.